Welcome back. Now, at this point, we will start editing. If you're following this series, I started out here, dumped in all my videos, started a sequence, and now I'm back at the effects window. And as you can see here, there are other stuff there, but since I don't need them, if I need them, I can always go to the assembly. So I just drag it all the way here so that I get to see a larger part of this sequence. So initially, we're going to focus on navigation. The default was smaller, but I dragged it down and to suit my need. So, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, make them smaller so that I can show you the navigation. So, as you can see, we have four parts of it at least visible here. Always, we have to, anything we have to do here, we have to make sure this blue border is there. Sometimes when you're working here or here, the blue border goes there and then you tap on your keyboard, you're not going to see this stuff moving, right? And in my editing, I mostly use keyboard. That way I can edit faster. And my default uh, tool from here is the hand tool. This way I can keep them, move them around and stay in focus, do what, whatever necessary. And whenever I need to focus on something, I go back to the arrow and focus like that. And now to jump from cut to cut, I use the down arrow key and the up arrow key to come back. Also, if you're working with Windows, the home key takes you to the absolute beginning and end key takes you to the end. Now let's go back to the original setup. To begin with, I hit the space bar and it starts going and I hit space bar again whenever I need to need it to stop and otherwise I hold down to the shift key and click on the left or right arrow key and it jumps like that. I set it up so that it will jump 10 frames at a time. You can set it up you know as many as you like but uh, for my work I noticed that uh, 10 frame works just fine. So once again let's go home to start editing. I hit the space bar, space bar again. See at the beginning part we don't need that. So I hit O. O selects the sequence from right to left and I selects from left to right. So here we are already reaching the end point so O is enough and then I'll hit the apostrophe key, which is the right underneath the double coat. And that gets rid of it. So now I can move on. I intentionally kept the sound muted so that it doesn't bother me for this recording. So again, I hit space bar. Let's say there is a gap that I don't need, right? Here's some text, I mean audio, and right here, I'm going to hit I, and then shift right arrow, up to here, and then hit O, and then apostrophe again, which is, once again, the double code key. Boom. So it gets rid of it. So it gets rid of that dead air part. Also, let's say we go forward and find a transition time like that. For example, this part, there's a transition going on, right? So when that happens, stop it right there. Let's say the default transaction I don't like, I want to put something else. So I would go ahead and hit I there. And Oh, there, get rid of that part. And now come to the right side. And this is one transition I really like, which is the barn door. Drop it right here. And then hit the space bar again. 
there's a nice little transaction right there. Also, if I need to make a specific cut right here, you know, maybe add add certain transition or some sort of a zoom or something. So I just leave it there and hit C. Get the blade tool and I lined it up and and click on it and creates a cut. Also, let's say in this in between here, if I have to add another clip. Once again, I go to the, the hand tool, click on it. The blue box is now surrounded, right? So that means we're working here. And now I'm going to hit the bottom arrow key to reach that cut point. And I will go back to the assembly, find the cut point here. And let's say I want to add this installation with five, number five, I want to add here. So I'll just choose that and hit comma. And that will drop that clip in between uh, or exactly at that cut position. And I can navigate between the cuts using bottom arrow and the upper arrow. Also another important thing here is that if you're recording for YouTube, then the audio level that comes from OBS Studio is not enough. So you're going to have to, let's make it smaller so that we can see. So what I have to do is that anytime I'm at the beginning of any clip and then from down here, I'll choose the audio clip mixer and then bump it up to four at least. And then I come back select this down arrow and then four again come back and as you can see these lines they will keep matching so that way you know the levels are exactly the same so on and so forth and usually i do it while editing so it's not like I don't do them at once. So as I'm finished with this one, I keep adding and keep going that way. So this way, when you are finished compiling all the clips, then you should just click here or the home key. If you are on Windows, go to the very beginning and hit the space bar to start it and watch the whole thing to make sure it's perfect. And while this uh, blue border is in here, you can click on the tilde key, or the upper left-hand corner, and make it larger so that uh, it's better for the view. But if you want to go back, click on that tilde key again, you come back to the editing window. So once you finish watching everything, I mean, you're to your satisfaction, then once again, you click on the home button or the go to the very beginning and then click on file export media and when this comes up and this this is my settings I just uh, set it to the 60 fpps 1920 by 1080 and uh, make sure you have this checked use maximum render quality and then I click here Go to the necessary folder and change the name and click save and once i do i hit export and it starts rendering and once it finished i play it again to make sure my video rendered properly and is playing correctly and that's about it for the editing for screencast in the next few videos i'm gonna focus on several uh, effects like uh, zooming text blurring, etc. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please smash the like button and the subscribe button. This will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week. Thanks again.